Hello and welcome back. Evan Daly here coming at you with another shader editor tutorial. In this episode I just want to show off the lerp node. So I'm going to right click and you could search lerp or you can just use this hotkey here. Um, so why don't we use the hotkey? That'll be L left click. Now I'm going to connect this to my albedo. And for convenience sake I already brought in two textures. To create a texture node that's just going to be T left click. And I'm going to connect the rock texture to A and the wood texture to B. Now what this node does is it, it takes in two textures and a number, and the number tells you how much of each texture you want. So when the number is zero, you're, you're only using the top texture, and when the number is one, you're only using the bottom texture. So let's add a float node, and the hotkey for that is one. So I'm going to hit one, left click, attach that to alpha, and I'm going to make this into a property so we can see it in the inspector. Transition, enter, and compile. Now, um, the rock texture is only showing up because we have this set to 1. I can just slide this up, and now we're only in the wood texture. But you'll notice it actually goes up past 1, which we don't want. So I'm going to lock this to a range of 0 to 1, and compile again. And now we only go between rock and wood. Uh, the wood looks really flat, so why don't we add some normal maps. And I already have those textures brought in. I'm going to duplicate my loop node. We want to use the same transition value, so let's connect that to alpha and A and B. Whoops. And drop this onto the normal map and apply. And that looks much more realistic. So I hope that was useful, and I'll see you guys next time.